hello guys welcome back to my channel today we will be seeing this short video regarding different rules or types available in pega there are very smart people who are not subscribing and watching my content please do subscribe this channel let's get started into the topic we know that rule set is very useful uh, in our pega application where we save our rules so rule set is a package uh, which contains different types of rules that we create in pega so there are different types of rule sets in pega so how do we uh, check that suppose if you take a rule set and if you go to category here you can set rule set type here we are having standard component shape and this is test rule set so let's see what are the use different uses for these three types of rule sets that are available in pega first is standard standard is default rule set any rule can be saved in this default uh, standard rule set without any restrictions next is shared rule set this shared rule set can contains rules which will be useful across the uh, applications in our organization and these rule sets we cannot define in application stack it should be mentioned in the advanced tab of application rule means suppose this is our application rule and if you open definition here we should not uh, specify our shared rule set okay just go here in the advanced tab here you have to add that particular uh, rule set and another thing is in the shared application rule set right you cannot have the class instances like uh, you can have only reusable activities or data that can be saved in this particular shared uh, rule set and another thing is component uh, rule set suppose if we are having a functionality and that particular functionality suppose uh, like a approval process that approval process can be reused across all the applications in the organization if it is same so instead of coding in all the applications we can define the particular um, approval functionality in separate rule set and define that particular as a component rule set and do package in the component application and that component application you will be referring in our application how here add components here you can add your component and you can add your version in this component application you will be adding your component rule set at that time this rule set type will be component yes, and another thing is this component uh, cannot be referred in our application stack and it contain class rules shared uh, rule set cannot have class instances but this particular component can have class rules and the last one is test rule set we know that uh, in pega we would be creating uh, unit test uh, rules for few of the uh, rules like data transform activity and all so those rule sets are not required to be promoted to higher environment okay so under this category standard if you click this see all the rules that are stored in the rule set can be excluded for quality purpose so this particular is a for our quality purpose but in it's not like a drop down and we having test uh, rule set just if you click this checkbox it can be uh, used as a test rule set and you can save that uh, test cases uh, rules in this particular test rule set and that can be referred in our application stack as well hope you have learned a new concept uh, comment your uh, feedback on this video thanks for watching this video please click on bell icon so you can't uh, miss any one of the video from this channel please share comment and like and give your suggestions in the comments of the video